And so they're controlling that discourse. Everyone's worried that conceding one inch means conceding my entire identity. Couple that with the rise of identity politics. And I believe we're in a stage where um, we, it's no longer about ideas. We're in a very, we're in an incredibly anti-intellectual stage or phase of, of living at the moment. It's not about whether you're right or I'm right. It's about how I feel and how you make me feel. Right? And, in, and if you're making me feel uncomfortable, it doesn't matter what you say, you're invading my safe space. Your, your threat, it's a microaggression, you're threatening me, right? And in that situation, because it's, a, it's an act of violence, you're invading my space, I'm going to shout at you until you back off. So it's, instead of becoming about which ideas are correct, it's become about how people feel and whose tribe is oppressed and whose tribe is, is in power and whose tribe is, 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 uh, is subject to their power. And when you, when you make the, 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 the basis of the conversation one of power dynamic, as opposed to what's right and wrong, then obviously the one who's feeling oppressed will never concede anything because the one in power has all the power to do anything they want to them. And it, it becomes one of a struggle uh, as opposed to a conversation around ideas. So that's generally what's going on within the Muslim communities. I've said that there's a, uh, there's a, a, a fear of racism and a, a sometimes understandably so a fear of anti-Muslim bigotry. There's a, a, a deliberate manipulation by Islamists injecting this religious side to it, saying don't concede anything of your religion. Uh, which is fascism. Fascism does the same. Islamists is borrowed from fascism. And then there's this kind of rise of what I call the regressive left identity politics. And all of that coming together means we've entered a phase of anti-intellectualism. So that, so that even if I say one thing here tonight that perhaps one of, one of, you know, someone here disagrees with, rather than thinking, you know what, he's a, he's a nice bloke, he's said some nice things and he's had a difficult you know, journey to get here, they will pick on that one thing and say, bigot. And that one thing will define my entire character. That's where the debate has got to, unfortunately. And one of the things I'm trying to do in my challenges against the far right, against the Islamists, uh, uh, against the regressive left, is to hopefully elevate this conversation back to an intellectual stage. And I just worry sometimes that it's, it's very far away from that at the moment.